My name is Mark. This is my Zen Path story, part one, Dharma Rain. My beginning of the Zen Path, 1987. So around 1987, I got interested in Zen through the suggestions of a psychology teacher I befriended at a local community college. Like anyone, I picked up a few popular Zen books and read them. Prior to this, I spent six years in the Navy and was currently working, though not really satisfied with anything I was doing. I dated girls, went to friends' parties, watched movies and TV, and lived a life like any normal person, though I was simply not satisfied and felt something was missing. So I talked to the friends I had at the time about this missing, or perhaps it was a longing I felt, I don't remember. Everyone had their own ideas, their reason thoughts about what I should do. So I did the unexpected. I went and visited a Zen center. And then what happened was a total surprise. The Portland Buddhist Priory is a satellite of the Shasta Abbey in California. That is a, a Zen center. They run their centers in the style of the Church of England, since the founding abbotess is English. They call the houses where the people worship and live at priories. My first visit, they gave me meditation instruction and a quick etiquette overview, which just means mannerisms and um, behavior. Overall, the environment was unwelcoming, dark and dank. I next visited the Dharma Rain Zen Center, this is all in Portland, Oregon. It was a much better experience than the Buddhist Priory. I felt welcomed and immediately made a connection with the abbot, Keoghan Carlson. And this is his picture here from his book. I went back to the Buddhist Priory to ask them what they thought of the Dharma Rain Zen Center. This is what I was told by them. That the Carlsons, Keoghan and Gyokoku Carlson, used to be part of their Sangha part of the uh, Portland Buddhist Priory, but was excommunicated by their teacher, J.U. Kennett, their teacher from Mount Shasta Abbey, where they were trained at. Number two, the Dharma Rain Zen Center stole the house that they currently were using, as it used to belong to the Priory. So right away, in the beginning of my Zen path, I was hit smack in the face with controversy and drama. Of course, there was only one thing to do. I picked the Dharma Rain Zen Center, if only because of a connection I had with Kyogen. I told him what the Buddhist priory said, and he said the following, that he and Gyokoku were married monks, and that was allowed by his teacher at the time. And, his, and then they were sent to Portland, Oregon to run the Portland Buddhist priory. And then his teacher, Jiyu Kennett, changed her mind about married monks and told them they had to divorce to remain in her order. So they chose not to do that and got excommunicated. And as he put it, it was the only thing they could do um, because they were in Oregon, they were already running the Buddhist priority, and they had the support of the entire Buddhist priory. So he and Gyokoku and the members of the Portland Buddhist Priory at that time chose to leave the Mount Shasta Abbey satellite system. The house was owned by a couple, it was believed the singers at the time, who allowed the Buddhist Priory to meet there, but when the schism happened, the house was given to the Dharma Rain Zen Center. So the house was not stolen, it was just a vicious accusation. So with all that said, I was good with the explanation and I forged ahead. So around 1988, I made the commitment to the precepts of Zen. And this is a ceremony where you go before the Buddha statue and you, make, you, you take the 10 precepts, which I will cover in another video. And usually you perceive a, a rakasu or some sort of religious uh, ornament to indicate that you have taken the precepts. And a few months later, I moved into the Dharma Rain Zen Center as a resident student. Many Zen centers give names to those who take the precepts, though the Coruscants decided not to do that and only preserve names for the disciples. Um, it's a lay ordination level of student who directly studies with one of the Coruscants. 
uh, or one can say it's a just a higher level of um, commitment. I did various jobs outside of the Zen Center to just pay my rent. It was a small amount, so I did not have to work much. This left a lot of time for me to read and study, for the library was well stocked with books. It was actually a very good library. And, to med and I had a lot of time to meditate. I also helped out with all the functions and services that went on my house, meditation sessions, senior student meetings, tea services, cleanings, and other chores. And there were times that I would actually run the entire um, meditation sessions when the Carlsons were not available or no senior students were available. I wanted to be a Zen monk, and I asked Kyogen about that, and he said that there was no training monastery for them to send me to, and they decided to only be a lay temple, meaning no monk training like they got at Mount Shasta. I was encouraged to look at other Zen centers for my training, and so I did just that. All right, looking for training, 1991. The only monastic training center that was accessible to me was a San Francisco Zen Center. I wrote them a letter asking about the monastic program because letters is what we did back in the 80s. And they replied that they wanted me to spend a few weeks first at the city center before I was allowed to go to the monastic training center, Tassajara. Sounds reasonable, right? So I went for a three month stay. Yes, I paid for this. The fall time of the year to the city center in San Francisco. I went to meditation and services, attended the lectures and meetings, and did the tasks they asked of me. Overall, I was content with what I saw of them. When my time was up, they said I could not join the training session at Tassajara that year, that I would have to wait until next year. So I returned to the Dharma Rain Zen Center to wait for my time to go to Tassajara. Again, I found work as a janitor for a nonprofit organization to just pay my bills and save up for my trip, once again down south. About a few weeks after I returned, this mid-aged lady shows up at the center and tells me that she is a Zen monk that Kyogen ordained, and that she just returned from Tassajara. Ooh, that's where I wanted to go. Well, you can only imagine my shock, for Kyogen nor Gyokiko ever mentioned her to me at all, nor did anyone at the Zen center really ever talk about her. I believe somebody might have said that there was a Zen monk in training, but I was never given any details or specifics, and I never really thought much about it. She stayed about a month at the center and had many private meetings with the Carlsons. In my own talking to her about Tassajara, because I was going to go, she really did not say much, if anything, about the, p the place or the people. Then as suddenly as she arrived, she was gone, and I never saw her again. A few months later, I departed the Dharma Ren Zen Center for Tassajara. In part two, 1992, the next part of my Zen past story is about Tassajara, where I spent a year there. Thank you. Please remember to like and subscribe.